So some of you have asked how I prepare my current affairs. I have uploaded a separate video on how to read the newspaper. Please check out if you're interested. I have also uploaded a glimpse of it here. There is an article about rapid rise, uh, rise in web blocking orders shows RTI reply. This article is about section 69A of IT Act. This is related to governance. Uh, these are important to both the prelims and the mains part of the UPSC. So when you read this article, uh, you have to, when you finish this article, you can go and uh, revise uh, what is the section 69 act of the IT Act and what is the union government, uh, union government is blocking uh, the contents on the online, what is the reason behind it. And then you can make uh, short notes about the article and also the short and also the short notes comparing the static portion of the syllabus. This is the plan I have made for today covering union executive and the state executive. It is easier to cover these topics when you make a comparative study of president versus governor, prime minister versus chief ministers and state council of minister versus union council of minister and, and attorney general of India versus advocate general. Uh, I have also attached a table of how to make a difference between these personalities like powers and functions so that it will be easy for you to understand and how to make the difference and and memorize the specifics so it will be easy to uh, present during the examination So this is the table I told you guys. This table shows the comparison between president and governor with respect to the bills. For example, you can see ordinary bills uh, and money bills. And there is a column separating the president and governor. Likewise, you can separate all the powers and uh, functions of governor uh, and pre president. Uh, and like Likewise, you can create these tables for like uh, prime minister versus chief minister. Uh, council of Ministers in the Union versus Council of Ministers in the State, Advocate and Attorney General, etc. So uh, that's it with the today's video. Uh, as I have covered the topics I have planned for today, and I hope the current of his video of how to read the newspaper is quite useful. Uh, and if you have also any best practices that you are following, please feel free to share it with me. It will be useful for me and also for everyone. Thank you.